All right, welcome back to this or that where we compare one food or one set of foods to another. This is episode seven. And tonight we're gonna start with the Big Mac. All right, now McDonald's Big Mac has approximately 550 calories, which is quite a bit for one sandwich. It contains 30 grams of fat, which is 38% of your daily intake. 45 grams of carbohydrate, which oddly enough, nine of those grams are from sugar. So there's actually nine grams of sugar in your Big Mac. Um, there's three grams of fiber, which is not very much, and 25 grams of protein. Uh, from what I read, there's really not many nutrients in there at all. A little bit of potassium, iron, and calcium, probably from the cheese and the meat. And you do get a whopping 1,010 milligrams of sodium which is 44% of your daily intake of sodium. So it's really high in both fat and sodium. Now, we're gonna compare it to that, which is another fast food restaurant, uh, Taco Bell. We're gonna compare it to a regular crunchy taco. Now, a regular crunchy taco only has 170 calories. So you can have three of those for fewer calories than one Big Mac. So in three original tacos at Taco Bell, you'd have 510 calories. The grams of fat are about the same, actually. It's about 30 grams of fat. Uh, 36 grams of carbs, so once again, that's pretty similar. And 24 grams of protein. So they compare really well, the three tacos to the one Big Mac. Now, the only difference is it does have a little bit less sodium, but it's still very high in sodium with 930 milligrams. But it is higher in fiber. So in three of those tacos, you would get nine grams of fiber. So the tacos have 510 in calories, the Big Mac 550. So you can still squeeze in just a little piece of candy, such as the SpongeBob Krabby you. Patty you gummy. Me, so you just like one of Daddy, those contains about 30 to 33 calories, all coming basically from sugar. All right, guys, that is it for this or that today, and we will catch you next time.